Dear viewers, Namaskar. Welcome to this edition of the News Bulletin. In the headlines today, Performance Enhancement Workshop on Zero Demirage in Loading Circuit held. Seventeenth Rural Hockey Tournament organized by Sale Rockland Steel Plant evokes enthusiastic response. And in our Azadika Amrit Mahotsav series, today's personality is Sanjukta Panigrahi. And now the news in detail. A two-day performance enhancement workshop on zero demurrage in loading circuit was organized at HRD Center of Rockland Steel Plant on 23rd and 24th September. Mr. S. R. Suryavanshi, ED Works, presided over the inaugural and valedictory sessions. Present on the occasion were Mr. Naresh Kumar, CGM Services, Mr. Devabrat Datta, CGM in charge HSM, Mr. A. K. Arora, CGM SRM Rorkila, Mr. A. K. Behra, CGM Traffic, and Ms. Rajeshri Banerjee, CGM HRDC. In all, 35 employees, including executives from associated departments like Traffic and Raw Material, RMHP, Hot Strip Mill, Silicon Steel Mill, New Plate Mill, PPC Marketing, CMO, RNC Lab, CNIT, and representatives from Indian Railways attended the program. Speaking on the occasion, Mr. Suryavanshi emphasized upon reducing the turnaround time of the railway wagons both in input as well as dispatch circuits within the stipulated free time which will help in bringing down the demurrage to zero and boost the bottom line significantly. It is worth mentioning here that all the input raw materials of RSP are brought by railway wagons to the plant and are unloaded at various unloading units. Similarly, wagons are being provided by the railways for the dispatch of finished products from the plant. For this, railway has a fixed time slot for each rig, fixed fleet of wagons called free time during which the wagons are to be returned to railways after loading or unloading. If the rig is returned beyond the free time, then they impose penalty on those wagons called demurrage. The sessions focused on reducing turnaround time of wagons and the challenges in rake management. This was followed by discussions on issues pertaining to zero demurrage management and formulation of action plan. The points raised in the action plan were discussed threadbare in the presence of general managers and HODs of all associated departments. Mr. A. K. Behra, CGM Traffic, welcomed the gathering in the inaugural program while Mr. K. Sunyani, GM, TNRM, proposed formal vote of thanks. The program was coordinated by Mrs. A. Behra, Senior Manager, HRDC. The 17th Rural Hockey Tournament being organized by the sports unit of sale Rockler Steel Plant RSP at the Biju Patnaik Hockey Stadium Sector 5 is evoking enthusiastic response each day. The matches are witnessing skillful display of hockey from many latent talents representing different teams of Sundargarh district. Notably, the hockey experts and coach of RSP are keeping a close eye on the matches to identify extraordinary hockey talents of the region which is considered as the cradle of Indian hockey. 80 teams from the peripheral areas are taking part in the tournament. The event this year is organized as a part of the Water Conservation Month being observed by sale. 
It is to be noted that the matches are being played on a knockout basis as per the Hockey India rules. The tournament is organized with the objective of giving a platform to the rural hockey talents to showcase their sporting skills. The final match of the tournament will be played on 29th September. As a part of the Azadika Amrit Mohatsav celebrations sale, Rogla Steel Plant is presenting a series of news on the eminent personalities of Orissa, some well known and some lesser known. Today's personality is Sanjukta Panigrahi. One of the brightest stars in the firmament of Odia art and culture, Sanjukta Panigrahi was born on 24th August 1944 in Barampur district of Orissa. She was an eminent Odissi dancer of all time. Sanjukta was the first Odia girl to embrace this ancient classical dance at an early age and ensure its grand revival. Sanjukta Panigrahi, the legendary Odissi dancer, maintained the true custom of Odissi all throughout her life. The dedicated dancer played a pivotal role in reviving the Odissi dance form in India and popularizing it in abroad. When she was small, her biggest achievement and turning point of her career was her victory in the International Children's Film Festival in 1952. She was married to vocalist Raghunath Panigrahi. The initial year of her career was challenging, but meanwhile her husband emerged as a fine vocalist and started rendering music for Sanjukta's performance. Sanjukta was honored with India's fourth highest civilian award Padmashri in 1975 for her extreme talent. The Sanjukta Raghunath duo performed outstandingly and enthralled the audience. In 1976, they jointly received the Sangeet Natak Academy Award. Apart from the awards she received, Sanjukta was also a part of government's cultural delegation to different countries including the USA and the UK. This queen of Odyssey dance died of cancer at the age of 53 on 24th June 1997, leaving behind an irreplaceable place in the history of Odyssey dance and music. That's all for today's news bulletin. Namaskar.